In this video, I'm gonna tell you why Security Plus is still too easy. Hey gang, it's Ron from icmagicky.com and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So I dropped a video maybe a year ago, yeah, I think like a year ago, and the title of that video was Security Plus is Too Easy and it had everybody in an uproar. I fully explained why Security Plus was the easiest certification I ever took and why a lot of my students tell me that Security Plus is the easiest exam that they've ever taken. So I'm going to recap that and tell you why I think Security Plus is still the easiest certification I've ever taken. So again, if you're not familiar with Security Plus, Security Plus is a CompTIA certification. CompTIA is a vendor for cybersecurity certifications, right? So CompTIA is one of the most popular vendors and one of the most sought after vendors for employers when it comes to certifications. This is the reason why a lot of people choose CompTIA certifications to get certified. Now, speaking about the Security Plus specifically, the Security Plus is a entry level I don't think it's entry level, but a lot of people think it's entry level. I would say entry to mid-level certification when it comes to cybersecurity. It's gonna go through a myriad of different topics, whether it's hacking, penetration testing, different tools, different viruses, different types of social engineering, just hundreds and hundreds of different topics. And if you want a full breakdown, you can actually go to the Master IT channel and go to the Security Plus playlist and you'll find hundreds of videos that will break down exactly what to expect on the Security Plus exam. Now, the Security Plus exam is not, quotation marks, is not easy. Right? It is not easy. It was easy for me and it was easy for my students. Will it be easy for you? Most likely not. So I'm gonna give you the reasons why it was easy for me. So simply put, the reason why the Security Plus was the easiest exam I ever took is because I took so many certifications before that, right? What I see a lot of times is students take the Security Plus because they want to get to the bag. They want to get some more money, right? They want to make sure that, you know, they're not wasting their time and that they make as much money as possible, as fast as possible, right? Now, the Security Plus is actually the number one Department of Defense certification when it comes to cybersecurity. So it's going to open up a lot of doors, right, as far as opportunities when it comes to employment, opportunities when it comes to promotion, opportunities when it comes to salaries, right? So I can see why it can be enticing for you to want that to be your first certification. Me, myself, personally, Rob, me, the guy that's talking to you, I wouldn't recommend you going for Security Plus first because a lot of times, even if miraculously somehow you pass it, you probably won't have the foundation, you probably won't have the skill set, you probably won't have the experiences and you won't have experienced the, the little nuances, the little things that you go through when you're learning new things, when you're picking up new skill sets that you would need to actually apply to the jobs, right? Because that's the, the main thing that people forget. If you ever see, right, and you're going to see it, you can look on some of my videos, you can look on, you know, different discussion boards, different forums. It's going to be a gang of people saying, yeah, man, I got security plus and I never, never could get a job. And the reason for that is because, yeah, they pass a certification, but they can't actually do the job, right? Because that's the whole thing. That's why a lot of the students in the Zero to IT Hero program, we focus on getting certified. We focus on getting that piece of paper, but we also focus on just as important, you know, equally that you actually can do the job, understand why you're doing what you're doing, understand what we learn in certain topics, so on and so forth. So you can actually speak to those things in an interview. You can actually do those things when you get into the field. So Security Plus shouldn't be your first certification for the things that I mentioned. And the reason why Security Plus is easy or is the easiest exam I've ever taken and why a lot of my students tell me that it's the easiest exam that they've ever taken is because I got A plus 
and I got Net Plus. So A plus is usually the first certification that the students in the Zero to Hero program get that's gonna lead to employment, right? It's not the first certification that we start off with, but it's definitely the first certification that's gonna make you eligible for employment, right? So it goes over a bunch of different stuff, like a bunch of different stuff, hundreds and hundreds of different topics. Now, Security Plus is more focused, more hyper-focused on security, and A plus is literally a little bit of everything, right? And A plus will kind of show you what you suck at, what you need to work on, so on and so forth. And it'll give you a super duper strong foundation and kind of show you what direction you want to go in. Oh, I kind of like when we talked about the code and stuff, or I kind of like the cybersecurity aspect, or I like the networking, or I like the project management. You'll actually be able to look into a little bit of everything and kind of pick your path from there. Now, since we're talking about how easy Security Plus was, the A Plus had a huge section on security, right? So I actually felt a lot more comfortable with uh, security after I got the exam done, right? Then I moved on to something called Network Plus. Now, Network Plus is hyper focused on networking, how to set up a network, how to maintain a network and even how to secure a network, right? So I got the security stuff from A+, great. Then I got the security plus from Network Plus. And believe it or not, on Network Plus, the stuff that I learned from A+, made the Network Plus stuff a lot easier, right? So I got security on A+, I got security on Network Plus. Now I go to Security Plus, this big scary certification exam, right? And when I got into the exam, I was like, damn, you know, I thought I, I was like, this can't be right. Right. Um, the first time I took Security Plus was probably 2000. Let me see, 2012, right? 11, 2011, 2012. And I got done with the exam, like 45 minutes. I was like, what the hell is going on? Right. So I was like, I probably failed because this, this doesn't make sense. So I passed. Great. Everybody's proud of me. And you know, I sat back after I passed for some self-reflection and was like, damn, well, like, how did I pass? That doesn't really make sense. And I didn't know, you know, it didn't really make sense to me. I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, I wasn't gonna tell them to take my damn cert back. But when I had to recertify um, a few years later, I took the exam again and it seemed like it was the exact same thing again. Like, damn, this exam is easy. Cause I took other certifications, like damn, this exam is easy. And the reason it was easy, right? Was because of repetition. I kind of knew how CompTIA set up their question types, right? I knew that it was going to be maybe a little convoluted. I knew that it was going to be um, maybe some extra stuff in there. I knew exactly how to decipher the information. And I had heard the same stuff over and over and over and over again that it was too easy by the time I actually got inside of the um, exam room. So a small little caveat, right? Or small little side note. How long should it take you to get Security Plus? I don't know. Uh, it took me about 60 days and it's taken my students about 60 days. And I'm talking about 60 days the first time I did it. The first time I got any certifications, anything, I got A plus, Net plus, and Security Plus in the same year, right? So I just kind of hunkered down, I studied, studied, studied. Um, a bunch of different stuff. Um, the way that I went about it uh, probably wasn't the best route. Uh, you know, it was a lot harder than um, it had to be um, because I didn't know, you know, I didn't know who to listen to. I didn't know where to go to. I didn't know what to study. Um, you know, I had to listen to like horribly boring lectures from the worst instructors ever. You know, some of these people are still around and it was just dry. It was like, it was just like, damn, 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 when is it gonna be over with, right? So that was one of the things or one of the reasons why I started instructing and I started teaching because just I knew that most of the instructors and most of the people that were teaching this stuff just weren't that damn good, man. And it's just like, this stuff isn't that exciting, you know, to be honest. It isn't that exciting anyway, but um, to have some dry ass material with a dry ass instructor, it just leave you, high and dry and that was the main motivation for you know the zero to it hero program and that's one of the main motivations why you know you are probably thinking about joining the program and why a lot of students actually join the program is just to get a, somebody with a little bit of little bit of oomph right 
So getting back to the topic at hand, Security Plus, right? Security Plus is a great certification to have. Um, if you look on any job boards, any job websites, you'll see all the different opportunities that can be afforded to you if you get Security Plus, right? But I will say this, if you go after Security Plus first, just willy nilly, study for a month or two, try and go get it and fail, what I've found, what I've seen is that most people kind of stop their journey right there because Security Plus without any prior knowledge, without any prior studying can seem damn near impossible, right? Because like I said, you didn't get the fundamental knowledge from A plus. You didn't get any of the networking security information from Network Plus, right? You just jumped in because if you just jump in, you may drown, right? Because the way that the exams are taught, the way the exams are broken down, all the stuff that's on A plus, all the stuff that's on Network Plus, Security Plus is taught or is presented to you as if you know all that stuff already anyway, right? So it's not gonna break down stuff, it's not gonna be ABC one, two, three. It's gonna shoot the stuff at you like, well, you got A plus, Network Plus, or you work in the field, or you know all this stuff anyway, right? So boom, here go the question, right? So that is the reason why Security Plus was the easiest exam for me, and it's the easiest exam for my students. Now, if this is your first time ever watching the video, thanks for the support. So once again, if it's your first time to the channel, Welcome, thanks for the support. Make sure you subscribe. If you've been to the channel before, welcome back. Just make sure that if you're looking for training, head over to itmasterkey.com, itmasterkey.com and apply to the Zero to IT Hero program. We're accepting applications right now. Right now, you need to, <laughs> you need to enroll before 2023. Trust me, you need to enroll before 2023, if not, it's going to be a sad, 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 sad day. So other than that, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in class.